Hey everybody, we have been hearing a lot about allulose as the new wonder sweetener for ketogenic diets. <laughs> so we decided to put it to the test and we spent the, the past morning testing our blood glucose and ketones to see how allulose in our coffee would affect them. So we got up bright and early, took a baseline test of our ketones and glucose to, um, to get that reading and then we swirled a tablespoon of allulose into our morning coffee, tested again at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 120 minutes. So here is what happened to our blood glucoses and ketones after doing the test. Right. First of all, it wasn't very sweet. No, it's, it's actually not. I, I think it is like 70% or something. I didn't even like taste that. It just wasn't very good, I didn't think. So anyway, on to the results. So uh, our baseline results, Becky's ketones started at 1.1. Um, and then at 30 minutes, you went to 1.3, and then the 1.2, and at 120 minutes, you were back to 1.1. Mm -hmm. Now, your glucose started at 83, went to 82, went to 78, and then went to 84. I mean, it's practically no change from start to finish mm -hmm. in, in your ketone readings and your glucose readings. Right. Okay. So, so that seems like, hey, allulose did nothing to me should have a perfect thumbs up, right? right? However, we had done a test earlier on how black coffee alone with nothing mixed in it affects my glu glu glucose and ketones. So if we compare it to that. Right. Your, your blood glucose with black coffee started at 74, went to 77, then to 66, and then to 74. So glucose-wise, black coffee maintained, mm -hmm. right? So that's looking pretty good in comparison right. with allulose so far, but with black coffee, your ketones start at 1.2, and you just went up from there, 1.6, 1.6, 2.1. That's a 0.9 increase in your ketones. Right. Over two hours where you would had no change with allulose. Mm -hmm. So comparing those numbers, you've, you've got to say that, that there was some kind of effect with allulose on your ketone production. Yeah, it's very possible, or it's at least a theory, that comes from this that allulose blunted my body's ability to produce ketones. Right. Now here, it's a very small test, only you know two people over two days, you know, but different metabolism. That's where it was pointing. Right. So if we go and look at my response, um, so my ketones with allulose started at 0.3. They stayed at 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and then they were at 0.4 at the end of the two hours. So that's basically no change. I mean my ketone production was just kind of rolling along on idle, I guess. Um, my uh, blood glucose started at 107 and then it dropped from there 99, 93, and it at 95. So I actually had a 12 point decrease in my glucose there. Okay. Okay. Um, so if we compare that to my black coffee results, my ketones are about the same. They, they were. 0.3 and went down to 0.2 with black coffee. Um, but my glucose was at 107 and went to 78. That was a 29 point drop. Mm -hmm. So that's a 17 point difference of what my, my glucose dropped with black coffee compared to allulose. Yeah. So again, if you just look at the numbers alone, it doesn't seem like it's doing much. But for me, for you it was ketones, for me it's glucose. Right. It seems like it may have kept my glucose above a level that it normally would have been. Yeah, and it's again, possible. it's one day, it's, you know, one person, one test, I mean, yeah, yeah. but yeah, it, it, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like it's doing nothing. Right. Right? Yeah. So, so there you, there you are, uh, just some results for you to kind of take in. We did test other uh, sweeteners and, compared to, and uh, they were different than allulose. So we will bring that to you shortly if we didn't already. Right. Yeah, but uh, we just wanted to shoot this because uh, it, it, this seems to be the, the new talk about sugar substitute. You hear a lot about sugar it in the yeah. 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 So for us, uh, nothing great, nothing really stellar. And in fact, I would say that black coffee alone had better results for our ketones and glucose. Stick with your black coffee. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.